Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. We look at the second conversation. This morning we stay uh, on the issue that's actually brewing in Ekiti State. That's the uh, PDP crisis in Ekiti State. Ahead of the governorship elections, which is stipulated for June uh, 2022, 18 to be precise, um, aspirants on the platform of the People's Democratic Party have rejected what Congress is to elect ad hoc staff in each of uh, the wards in this particular state. And so we'll be looking at this crisis and what it holds for the elections and the People's Democratic Party in the Kitty State. We do have a uh, guest joining us, gentleman Dinwon Oduyemi. He's a deputy, former deputy national publicity secretary. It's good to have you join us this morning. We'll also have thank Lira. All right, uh, thank you for joining us. Lira Oleinka is also the director of media and publicity, BC Kola Wale campaign organization. Uh, it's good to have you join us as well. And uh, a former commissioner for information, Ekiti State, is also joining the conversation, Lanry Ogunyusi. Uh, it's good to have you join us this morning as well. Yeah, good morning. Even though you motivated my name, I'll take it like that. It's all right. I apologize. <laughs> apologies, <laughs> please. Okay, so let's get no straight straight to the conversation right now. Can you kindly tell us what's happening in Ekiti State as regards the elections and uh, what's going on with the People's Democratic Party? Uh, is, is that to me? Yes, sir. Okay. Um... What's going on in Ekiti State is uh, a test for democracy and uh, uh, it's a protest about the election, which is, which is a combination of series of the, uh, division within the party over all the issues. It's an ability to talk with one voice. First, it's about who is the leader of the party that went on for so many months and then uh, next came this and then came this congress there's been so many peace parties by the national working committee both the outgoing national working committee and this one uh, there was a time that we had a caretaker committee which are all aberrations to the system but uh, it seems that uh, there is no end in sight to the division in, within the party the recent one was the one of yesterday where when you say aspirants protested, I will not subscribe to that. I will say the people, some members of the party, protested their inability to vote. Not inability to win, but inability to vote because democracy uh, assumes that as minority, even though may not have their way, but they should have their say. And uh, when you no longer have a, your stay within a party that is your party by choice, then uh, something is seriously wrong and it is uh, time to draw attention to that. I think that's, what, other than that, there is nothing unusual happening within the party. All right. Uh, what is what is the fundamental issues or what are the fundamental issues with the processes that led to um, the election uh, of uh, uh, the three delegates in each of the 177 wards. Uh, what is seen to be the problem with the process? The problem with the process is that politics by and large have become something like an investment in Nigeria, not uh, something uh, to represent the people's interest first. Uh, and so therefore, everyone is uh, desperate to become uh, governor, become senator, and then you, and be, the more the experts introduce mayors like uh, spread in, in representation, the more people try to buy these representatives wholesale. And that is exactly the problem. How can somebody predict that 531 people would vote for them? And not tomorrow, but in months' time. So it's a monkey game. Uh, it is supposed to be you elect the three accord delegates and appeal to them to vote for you. But people believe that if you put A, he is not going to vote for me. So put B, uh, he is more likely to vote for us. Sometimes they are put on oath 
And uh, I'm not saying it is stated wrong. That's that's not good for democracy. So democracy is to be, uh, you, you have to persuade the people, not force them. So what we have mostly in Ekiti now is garrison politics, where people, you, seem, you think that this person is not on my side, so he must be excluded. So we also have largely politics of exclusion. And uh, I think that is the problem. Okay, let's also bring in Dinro Odeyemi uh, to the conversation. He's a former Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, can you also tell us what, in your own sense and understanding, what is going on currently with the People's Democratic Party? Um, what is going on in the state is a normal thing in politics. When you see people who fail to accept the field, when you see people who are eager to get into office without doing their homework properly. When you see politicians who believe that they just must get there at all costs. These are the hallmarks of, you know, what is going on in politics. In politics. I was once the secretary of the caretaker committee, which the commissioner, which the commissioner described as aberration. If he knows the constitution of PDP and the composition and the operation of PDP, we know that. It is a normal process in PDP. So this gave me an, an, an opportunity to know them very well in equity. You see, in equity, they have this personal characteristics of not listening to or not following order or not accepting defeat, not taking or accepting leadership. That is the problem. Because as it is now, what is playing out there is people who did not prepare for election. They are looking forward to winning an election. This is primary election. You can't put something on nothing. By the time we organize the primary election in this, many of them boycotted. And a section of the PDP participated in that election. We are all the all state officers, the local government officers were elected. And it is these same people that we form the committee of delegates that we have to elect the governor. If you did not participate at, at, at that stage, you now expect to win, you know, the three adult delegates. I think they are not getting it right. So that is, that is the problem. They just must sit down and be a good member of the party. Accept whatever is decision of the electorate. I mean the delegates in a city. The adult committee was well conducted by the party. The party sent eminent personalities former leader advisor who knows everything about the law, the law guiding election. The caller of the year was there. The, the, the former national public secretary, Elijah Adedibu, was there. These are eminent people in PDP. People who could say that could, they, they, they could not be bright. People that would do things accordingly to save the party and to save their name. So they did it, but people will not accept the outcome will always come out to protest. So it's not my politics. It's not new. We will resolve it. That is why you have the appeal committee set up by the national body. That is why you have the NWC that will decide the outcome. Then the next is the, uh, is the overall body that we, we stand on it. So all these processes are still there. Let them continue to, to go through this process and be a good member of the party and accept whatever is the outcome of the delegate election. Thank you very much. Uh, we, we have uh, also joining us uh, Larry Ogunsui, uh, who is a former commissioner for information in Akiti State. Mr. Ogunsui, can you hear us, please? Uh, I can hear you. Larry. Fantastic. All right. Uh, our two guests, um, uh, Diro, um, of course, uh, Diro Demi has uh, said uh, that... Um, Oh, let me start with uh, Larry Olayinka, who earlier said that uh, um, those this is just uh, a few people in the party trying to foist their own candidates and their own will on the majority in the party. Whilst uh, Diro Demi has said that um, those who are complaining did not do their homework well and are crying foul uh, instead of looking for ways mm -hmm. to try and also uh, do their homework well. W where do you stand in all of this? What's your own position? Well, uh, uh, good morning. Let me let me let me start this morning this morning on a very funny note because uh, I've been told I've had people making noise that that your file snatched electoral materials and all that, and I've asked myself, 
I'm not, I have option number one. It's not a governorship pass for that. It's not contesting election. At the at Kototel Hotel, where the people came from Abuja, met with stakeholders, Ayofayoshi was not there. How a single man, Ayofayoshi, was able to outsmart six people, six aspirants, is what I've not been able to also comprehend. How, how one person was able to create electoral materials among six other aspirants, somebody who was not there who was able to smash materials. Even if, even assuming they not consider that it happened, it showed that the person is smarter than them. It showed that the person is more, more was more prepared than them, and it shows that the person has political strength more than them. That is the situation, and that is what they are advertising. That's very unfortunate. Let me go back to the issues. Like I said yesterday, PDP has electoral the guideline for conducting congresses. When those who came from Abuja came, they write out the congress, the, the, the guidelines. When, when one of them raised issues that uh, on, on, on the issue of appointing world returning officer, that we actually go to the field to conduct the congress and make returns to the three people, three member uh, uh, local government elect electoral officers. When it was read to them, many of them, if, even even one of them who just who, who just came back from the end of UC, was or was saying that it was not true, it was not it was illegal, all of this and that. Until the guideline was read to them, they could not say anything. And and on that Saturday, to each of the aspirants were asked to appoint two agents each each. Though their agents were there, they were present when materials were distributed to the local government, to the team leaders of local government electoral officers. Their agents were there. And those people left Cold Hotel Hotel and Great Kitty for their respective local governments. When, when they were leaving, all of them, all of them, all of them were in that hotel waiting. They did not go to their to their work. Let me let me give start an example. Honorable Ken, the other me is from my own local government. After like one hour after materials had left at Rekiti, he was still at Kototel Hotel at Rekiti waiting for materials. He didn't even know. He could not even mobilize his, 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 their own agent to, to follow the materials to, 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 to Aramoko. So he was there. One of them called me like 30 minutes after materials had gotten to Aramoko. Let me also say this. They said that I, Lady Olayika, was in Aramoko equity. That after I got material, so I, 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 I used ladder to run away. Me, I used ladder to run away. And they are the people saying that materials were got in Ado. On the same bread, they were also, they also telling us that materials also, uh, uh, material actually got to Aramoko. So they don't know. They were like, 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 like my other like, like brother, the other day, they said, they were not prepared. They were not prepared. They knew that uh, already. Already in this game, out of like one thousand four hundred and something uh, delegates that we have on ground, they know that we already have like nine hundred. So if you already have nine hundred out of like one thousand two hundred and something or two hundred something, what what is left for like six seven others to share? So they are they are only looking for way to 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 to, to, to prepare themselves. For the eventual defeat, defeat. So that when, when they are when they are eventually defeated, they will now say that uh, yeah, the process um, was. was, was the, the, thank you, Mister. Like, let, let, let's move on, uh, um, uh, Mister Ogunsui. Do do you agree? Uh, what's your response to what they've said? I mean, of course, uh, Larry Lainka and uh, 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 Dero Demi, they've, they've advanced, you know, their reasons why um, the elections as they see it were free and credible and are, are saying, of course, that those who are crying wolf simply came unprepared. Um, uh, you've listened to them. What do you say? Uh, since this is not a debate and uh, it, it is a... It is a discussion. I will not respond to all of this because I didn't raise uh, those allegations against them. Uh, as for uh, the former caretaker secretary in the United States, I will also not agree with him that uh, the problem with the Kitty people is that uh, they are this, they are that. People are not different from 
human beings all over the world. And uh, I stay in my town, in my village. I live there. I wait for the electoral process to play out there. All I can say from my personal experience is that nobody came to my ward. The chairman of my ward, the way the wards are constituted, especially in the uh, uh, rural areas, is that the chairman of my ward is my brother, is my blood brother. The people on either side are all, we are all uh, kinsmen. And so whatever divisions exist, uh, I'm not an urban politician, I'm a rural politician. So I won't say I wasn't prepared because all, it, all that I required was to take my bath and go to where people vote. I got there, uh, we waited, we didn't see the electoral officer. No argument will make me change that uh, position. Maybe my word is unique. Uh, I couldn't, I, I have said, I can't be in all the words like uh, uh, they have said. And uh, for those analysis, that will be argument for another day. Uh, the analysis might be correct. I don't know. I'm not an aspirant. But uh, I think that uh, when people protest, it is an expression of dissatisfaction with something, a process. And I think it is not something you just wave aside if you are serious about, about not losing those people, about getting them to your side. Uh, Larry Olainka talked about, uh, uh, he talked about uh, reconciliation, but you know there could only be reconciliation after truth. You, you, don't, you don't browbeat people into reconciliation. It's been tried. In several places, it has failed. I hope that this also ends well because my interest is in PDP. My interest is in that party. Uh, it is in that party that I have uh, represented my people at several levels. I also would not want to go into personalities of uh, who is uh, smarter than who, who is uh, more clever. Uh, I know that every politician has one vote, except in Nigeria where super politicians can uh, actually get more votes uh, through smart, you know, ways. So I think that uh, that my vote for which I went to register, I will want the process to play out. No matter the analysis you give, I will want a process that plays out. I don't want him to waste the time of listeners and the, the over what is an aberration, what's not an aberration. All I know is that intervention, things like caretaker and all that, even legally, uh, they are being challenged. Even in the, in the APC, they are being challenged that uh, is it actually legal to have caretaker committees so I wouldn't want uh, me, uh, Chief Order me to wear it like a badge. It's a temporary thing. It's to solve a problem. If you're trying to solve a problem, if you create more problems, uh, don't wear it like a badge. Uh, I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone. I just want to say I hope we can move on. We've wasted so much time looking for solutions we doesn't appear as if we have gotten a solution. And I don't want to, if you are, the first casualty in every conflict is truth. So it's not strange that two people will be talking about the same events and then you get several versions of that uh, truth, in quote. So I just want to say, I hope they move on with this and I hope it ends well. It's, it's not... Not All right, the, let, let, yeah. let's, let's also, we'll, we'll come back to you uh, in no time, but let's bring in Dean Ro Odeyemi at this point in time. Now, with all of the crisis that's brewing in the People's Democratic Party, uh, that's in Ekiti State. Now, what are the chances of clinching to power? I mean, you know that you have other contending parties. What are the chances of your party winning this election 
come June? What is happening in PDP is not new and it's not unusual. We are talking of PDP today. If you mention APC, their own problem is even more than what is happening in PDP. If that now becomes the yardstick through which you want to measure or get assurance that PDP will win, will win an election in it. I can as well tell you that uh, some of us who are politicians, who are in the process of selecting who will fly the flag of the party, are minority. It is the electorate who forms the majority of uh, people that will determine who becomes the governor. And that is why we are not bothered, even though we appreciate that people must, you know, protest, people must complain. But as a political party, this is not the first time. There will always be reconciliation. There will always be a meeting point where we will preach to them that it is good to be in the government house and settle disputes than being outside the government house and, you know, being in crisis. So the positive reasoning will prevail at the end of the day. So it is not a yes to determine if PDP will win it. I can tell you, people in Ekiti, not only in Ekiti, in the Southwest, in Nigeria as a whole, are tired of APC government. What is happening is more or less like an internal crisis. We will so. But when you are talking of an election, it is the campaign, it is the manifesto, it is the caliber of candidates that we are putting out that will determine how and when we are going to win this election. And I can assure you, in Ekiti, with what is going on, PDP will emerge victorious this year. All right, gentlemen, let, let's, look at, let's look at way forward. Of course, the name of uh, former Governor Ayodele Faisha has been mentioned. Of course, uh, Ms. Ulaika, you've said that um, Faisha has nothing to do with this. Um, but some will say there is no smoke without fire. Um, and the likes of um, former Deputy Governor Olushalai Leka, uh, Senator Lu Jimi, uh, former Governor Shego Ne and Co are really seasoned uh, politicians uh, who have a, a record and they have a name uh, and they, they are eminent politicians who will not take things sitting down so it's, it's expected that they will go all the way uh, to try and uh, get the justice if they feel that injustice has been served. Um, if this continues chances are that the PDP may not find itself on the ballot if they they are affected or aggrieved parties go to court you know, it may affect the chances of the party. Um, what is the way forward? How can this be resolved? Um, are you going to say, oh, we'll let the winner take it all, or can there be a sort of um, an arrangement, an agreement, a resolution to this crisis? Mr. Laika. Well, 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 well let, me, let me say this also clearly. The party PDP is a very, it's, 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 it's about the only organized party in this country. When you get to the National Secretariat of PDP, people are there, they work like civil service, permanent secretary, the directors, all of them are there. So this party has laid down procedures. The procedure. When you do a congress like this, there is opportunity for, for the, the, the party already envisaged that there will be complaints, there will be people that will be aggrieved. So there is a there is provision for a P panel, a P, a P committee, that people will now take their grievances, their complaints to. So that is the next stage that we are. I'm aware that uh, the, the, the people, the people sent from Abuja have submitted their report yesterday, report of the conduct of the Congresses, of, of the Congress. It was stated that the Congress was, if, even from the, from, from the statement issued by the party yesterday, it was stated that the Congress <laughs> was conducted. The Congress was conducted, so the report has been submitted, the party will now set up probably an appeal, 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 uh, appeal panel or call the stakeholders together. Like, like, like I'm aware that a, a limit of the stakeholders has been called for Abuja for tomorrow. Call the stakeholders, bring everybody to the round table and discuss issues. What, 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 like, 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 my brother, like my brother said, what we are witnessing in PDP is not strange. It's not what has not happened before. We know we know what is called the uh, uh, Faki Ureje issues that we witnessed in the 2020 before 2023 election that PDP eventually won. Those of us here also know what happened in 2014. Then I was I, I, I was in the committee of those who are saying we no go agree we no go agree. I was there. I was part of the aggrieved. 
At the end of the day, we have to come back together and work with the candidate of Ayoshi to win election. So it's not what has not happened before. Those who are looking at it from the outside, they don't also, also understand the dynamics of politics. By now, they don't even know how many of those aspirants that have been reaching out because they know that, oh, when somebody picks the, the governor, the next thing remaining is the deputy governor. There are some who want to be deputy governor. There are some who want to go to Senate, who want to go to House of Reps. They begin to also ask, okay, you have taken the governor, governorship. What is in it for us? What is the remaining? What do you get? That was what happened in 2014. I was a player, a key player there. So I understand some of this game. And I appreciate that people, people have tried to, to ventilate their anger, they, to ventilate even their frustration. To ventilate, oh, we, we, don't, we don't like the way... We, 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 and some people will also do that to also, to, to, to also prepare ground okay. for their eventual impending loss of a contest. It's like somebody who is going to, 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 to a, to, to a 100 meter race. Already right. making noise that, oh, 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 the, 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 referee, the referee is going to, the referee has told the other person that when, when he gives one sign, he should move. Okay, so Mr. Loika. Mr. Loika, we, we, have, we have to call it a day on this, but I'm sure um, what you've said will be the view of um, the other guests, um, of course. Um, allow the processes of the party take effect. Um, uh, I don't know if the rest of you gentlemen agree with him. Let me come to you, Mr. Diro Deemi. Do you agree that uh, the party's um, remedial processes and dispute resolution mechanism should be allowed to run the full run? In one sentence, please. I said it earlier on. PDP is the most organized political party in Nigeria with good processes to ensure that there is no crisis and we win election. So PDP will do the right thing and the process is on. And I believe in it. All right. Uh, uh, Mr. Ngusui, please, one sentence from you before we go. Just one sentence. Ngunti, there is no you without me, and there is no me without you. That should be the spirit. All right. Fantastic. You just reminded me that we had uh, Martin Luther King Day uh, some, some days ago. That was a very fantastic one. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Mercy. Uh, that's so much we can take at this point in time. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation. Uh, uh, Mr. Dunyemi, thank you so much for uh, coming through this morning. He's a Deputy National Publicity Secretary of, former Deputy National Publicity Secretary of the People's Democratic Party. We also had Mr. Olainkar, as well as uh, uh, former Commissioner of Information, AKT State. We're really running out of time. That's the much that we can take. And if you missed out on any part of the conversation, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel on Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. I am Messi Bobo. And I'm Kofi Bartels. It's been great doing with this few. Mercy, uh, second day. We'll return tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs>